What's up? What's going on? Just did some maintenance on this tank. Some hard maintenance. Did a, a full water change. Well, not a full water change, but a 50% water change. Uh, did all my sand bed. Cleaned out my sand bed. So, you know, it's not perfect, but it's a whole hell of a lot cleaner. Trimmed up a lot of my plants. Uh, I got a I got a baby, uh, oh, Kaboma up there, and they're just, they're killing it, so I'm going to have to take that out as soon as I'm done this video. Uh, anyway, point of this video is, I noticed some eggs today in my moss. Now, getting this on camera is going to be tricky, because white clouds are a small fish to begin with, never mind their eggs. Uh, the way white clouds breed is egg scattering, so they don't, they don't lay eggs, um, in the same way that a discus does, or, you know, they don't have live, live birth like a guppy. So, <clears throat> so there is eggs in there. I don't know, maybe I can get, if I can get it in there. I got a decent camera. No, I can't focus it on there, but there are eggs. So, I got two options. One, intervene. Or two, leave it be, see if any survive. Uh, white clouds will eat their young. I have bred uh, the white clouds before. So I think I'm going to intervene. I'm going to do a little batch, um, see how they turn out, and move on from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw them into a five gallon uh, little tank that I'm currently using as a uh, quarantine. So I'm going to throw them in there, and uh, the way I'm going to do that actually is once these eggs start hatching, as soon as I notice anything going on in this tank in terms of babies, I'm going to remove that entire piece of driftwood. I'm only going to do one of the pieces of driftwood. I'm going to do this guy here, the big one. Uh, I'm going to take that kaboma out and put it in the tank, whatever. Uh, put that piece of driftwood into that holding tank, and that will contain all of the eggs. And then I'll be throwing in some, um, some brine shrimp. So you know, live brine shrimp. I'll probably start with uh, something else. I'm gonna have to go to my fish store and, and pick up uh, some powder uh, for the first few days. But aside from that, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna throw a little sponge filter in there. Uh, additionally, I threw in this little thing. I picked this up the other day at Big Al's, my local aquarium store. So this is a, <laughs> this is a fascinating little product. So it, it works in the same premise as a sponge filter but it's, um, you can put media in it or whatever you want. So I'm using it to do a little bit of polishing uh, and I got some Fluval Biomax in there as well. So figure out how that goes and you know, just a little fun project. I like little weird things like that. Like it's ridiculously ugly, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I like trying out stuff like that. That would also be a good way to cycle extra media. You can pretty much just keep that going in any tank, just like a sponge filter. You know, sponge filters are the bomb, but it's fun to try new little things. Um, and yeah, get some water circulation in here. I'm noticing a lot of crap going on in the gravel or in the sand bed. So, I mean, even after cleaning it, and I cleaned it for like 25 minutes, I can still see crap in there. So, you know, that's part of the pain in the butt of a 10 gallon tank right now is that I just got to do a lot more maintenance than I should be doing for a white cloud tank, but that's fine. Um, you know, I'm doing twice a week water changes at this point, which I like doing anyway. You know, I, I know a lot of people have a lot more tanks than me, so for me doing doing two water changes a week on my tanks isn't a big deal at all. It's, uh, you know, people like Corey or, or Rich, like, you know, you don't want to do two water changes a week when you've got 40, 50 tanks. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, anyway, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Try to keep this tank updated. I'm going to start up a project soon that I really want to show you guys, and I got it in the works. So I'm just gathering all my supplies for it. And, yeah, guys, have a great week. Take care. Peace out.